All right, I had, uh, all right, the operating nurse has been up my ass to do some kind of a tutorial, and this is going to be a real half-assed tutorial. Um, I don't have all the, the, the part measurements. I'm going to do the best job of trying to uh, help you out. Uh, this is the ASCO uh, air valve that I used. Okay, so I'm going to give you a real close-up. That's the model numbers and all that stuff if you need it. Okay, I got this thing online uh, through eBay for about 30 bucks. Um, they're difficult to find at that price, but I did. I might have lucked out last year, but this is the valve I found. It was 30 bucks. I used one of those $12 air uh, sprinkler valves last year. The thing honked. It sucked ass. I would not recommend using those. Um, and if you think you're going to try to build an air cannon for under 25 bucks, you're sadly mistaken. I don't give a shit what people say. Air cannons. If you're going to build a good one, I mean the. The, this tank right here is 30 bucks. It's a seven gallon tank. You can go smaller if you can find a three gallon tank. I would, or even a five gallon tank. I would go a little bit smaller on the tank. But uh, that's what I found that at Walmart, and it was around 30 bucks. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to take off the, uh, uh, the, the, the valve that's on there, and I replaced it. Now, I, I don't have the part measurements. I think that's a, that's a three-quarter um, attachment right there. And um, so I'm going to just put the tape measure to this because I don't know what the exact parts are. But just to give you a rough diameter on some of these parts, that looks to be about possibly one inch and then this the connector right here let's see as it goes into the valve it looks like it's more like about an inch and a half so yeah I think you need a one inch to a one and a half inch connector going into the valve same thing coming out the other side actually although if you can see right here it looks like it says maybe one and three quarters so it actually looks like that's a one and three quarter coming out. Okay, so it might be one inch to one and a three quarter adapter. And then into, uh, that looks to be about um, maybe an inch, an inch and a quarter. And then it, it comes into this connector here, which is a one and a half to three inch. Um, this is what I, this is my version of it. Um, I hook a piece of PVC, uh, a three inch piece of PVC into that end. Um, you have to buy these two pieces. I think actually it might be three pieces. I think it's this piece into that adapter and then into this piece right here. Um, like I say, that, is, that looks to be about a one and three quarter. I believe this is this connection right here. The diameter looks to be about, once again, about an it looks to be about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, and it's ob it's much smaller on this side. This this the other uh, adapter over here looks to be about three quarters. So I think uh, I think this connection's three quarters. That's three quarters. Three quarters. Obviously, that should then be three quarters. Um, I probably would use an air, this is I think a, just an air regulator or air flow valve, not a regulator. I would, I'm going to replace this and put a regulator on there this year. This was about 18 bucks at Home Depot. The air, I think the air valves or the air regulators I mean, um, are only about 22 to 25 so only a few dollars more. I'm just going to buy that and put that on here. This is your basic, um, you know. I think one eighth inch um, tubing fitting here, valve fitting. Um, so that's pretty much in a nutshell. I mean, I, I hope that helps.